Okay, got it. Okay, Nukem, I'm going to transfer some of my life force into you. I hope this works, because it's going to shave a few years off of me. Oh, wait, what? How am I still alive? I gave you some of my life force so you Sunset, don't ever do that again. You've got too much to live for. And I have nothing. You have me. Alright, you got me. Okay. You're not getting out of that this easily. We're gonna do our best to try to get you home, sweetie. Okay. But right now you're safer here. At least until all this blows over. Okay, now that I'm back on my hooves, we, well, I am gonna go back in there and fight him. Ramadash, I don't think that's a good idea. You only covered halfway. Don't worry about it. We took care of him. Wait, you actually did it? Yeah, we took care of the Slenderman with Nukem's full power. He damaged the Slenderman pretty bad. <laughs> Sunset! If the Slenderman was even in the castle, why didn't you come and get me? I've had experience fighting him. <laughs> we didn't quite think about that. Smite, we didn't have time. He literally came out of nowhere. And besides, how am I supposed to know you fought the Slenderman before? W wait. Sunset? Th that can't be. Sunset Shimmer? Oh boy. Uh, whoa, what's the matter? It's just Celestia. 
Smite, you don't understand. The last time me and Celestia spoke, it was not on good terms. That can't be good. I know what you're going to say, that I, I shouldn't be here because of what I did last time. It was wrong of me to do what I'd done, to lose my temper, and then to run away without telling you or my brother, all because you didn't think I was ready for the magic that I wanted to learn. I should have been more patient, so I ran away because I felt like I felt like I failed you. So I came back, hoping I could help. And then we lost Eris to the Slender Mane. And now I feel like I failed you more than ever. I thought I could make up for what I'd done. I'm so sorry. The sun said, It is me who needs to be sorry. I held you back because I was afraid that you would hurt yourself. When you went into the mirror, I thought you were gone forever. I was the reason you lost your temper. You and your brother are the closest thing I have to family besides my sister. I've raised you both as little foals. And you have no idea how much I missed you. And it is I who's failed you as a parent. And I'm the one who should be saying, I'm sorry, Sunset. <laughs> <laughs> I I promise Eris I will make him pay I don't care if plague is supposed to be almighty for Ragnarok is my witness he will feel the wrath of the Lord of Chaos! Okay, I got some good news. I brought the mirror back from Twilight's, because I'm thinking of using it on Plague. Wait a minute, you mean you're gonna throw Plague into the human world? You're gonna end up killing just as many in that world as you would in this one! But there's no equestrian magic there. He should be powerless. But he uses aura. Aura is present in the human world. In other words, sister, he will destroy that world, find another portal, and come here and still destroy us. Yeah, there's more than one portal. In the human world, it has been known that aura is ten times stronger there than it is here. But not many humans have been able to use it. Celestia, we are not Star Swirl. We can't just throw them in there like he did the sirens. I could have swore that was going to work. All it's going to do is delay him. We need a permanent plan. Sunny, 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 Sunny! This is, he slow down! Wait, how did she get here? I'm so glad to see you're okay. But, but Fizzy, how did you find me? Mr. Shimmer taught me how to track. So you used what Ponita taught you then? Oh, not to mention his speed. What happened to her horn? The poor deer. She's not going to have trouble with her magic with that, is she? Actually, she does. And it can get quite chaotic. But it happened to her with Ursa Minor. Luckily she escaped. Well, thanks to me. Dora? 
Recognize me? It's me, Jericho, from the Resistance. Wait, what happened to you? I reformed. So even if you're half unicorn, you still can reform? Yeah, it's amazing. Well, it's good to see you again. Yeah, it's been a long time. Well, what about her? I swear, Thorax, I'm different than what I used to be. So please. Give me another chance. So, you changed. I don't sense any hostility from you. Yeah, Mom's different than what she was. So she's a good queen? I don't think she got the hang of reforming yet. Doralis, the prince wishes to see you. Aw, Mothball. Mothball, I told you to stay with the guard. Just because you're a prince doesn't mean you don't have to listen to them. <coughs> Did you really want attention that badly? Oh, it's okay. I'll take him. <laughs> He's so cute. That's my baby brother. Ain't that right, small fry? <coughs> Smite? Celestia, I sense a lot of auras coming this way. How many? I can sense a good hundred, two hundred, maybe more. Oh no. Hi! Hi, mister! My name's Fizzy! Well, aren't you just the cutest thing I ever saw? Well, Miss Fizzy, I regret to say it, but you're gonna have to go below with all the other pedestrians. Who are you here with? Sunny? Sunny's been taking care of me. <laughs> Sunset, I didn't know you was a mama. Whoa, 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 whoa. I am not a mama. Sunny, you may not be my mama, but if I was to choose a mama, I would like to have you. Aw, Fizzy. Thank you. Things are getting much worse out there. Everyone... Get to safety. Lead the Darklings to Cantalov, he says. It'll be fun, he says. Donald Geezer doesn't know what he's talking about. I'll lead him there and then I'm gonna disappear. I can sense his aura this way. Wait. Where'd it go? His aura vanished. Comet, look how far in the west we went. This territory is unfamiliar to either one of us. Wait a minute. Is that Derek? Wait, what? <laughs> Not today! I could have swore he got broken as a statue. Derek! Oh my, you crazy mare! You... I could have swore you were dead! Moonlight! You, you shouldn't be here! Moonlight, heads up! <laughs> Moonlight, that was really stupid! I don't care! I want to rip off his horns and shove him into his chest! Stand down! I'll fight this fight alone! I remember you. You were the were pony. I'll finish what we started in Ponyville. By killing you where you stand. I'll agree with you. We should finish what we started. Bingo!
my fists allows me to knock all of your magic out of you. Now you're powerless. Very clever. I learned a little something in the underworld on how to absorb aura. And I'll start by taking yours. Yes, I feel empowered. And look, you even reverted to your tiny form. Uh, okay, lucky shot. Now I can do the one thing I've waited to do for a long time. Kill you. No, cut us in trouble. <laughs> Moonlight! I won't let you hurt him! You want him, you gotta fight me! Get out of the way. Now. Make me! <laughs> Let me go! Stop struggling or you're going to hurt it! I sense something when you kicked me. I sense you are with a fawn. Hey, first of all, don't you dare abandon me in the middle of this. Watch me. Uh, stubborn mutt. You were saying I'm pregnant? Yes. And I need to tell you the truth about what happened to your parents. You claim that I've killed them. No, I, I did kill them. But not on purpose. I'm going to share my memories with you, so you can see the day that I saw, I was framed. Huh, so this is the place, the place that was abandoned. Looks pretty clean to be abandoned. Okay, but he wants me to destroy it, so... Might as well make this look fun. I'm trying to get it off of you. Where's the light? No, the ceiling! <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Centaur. Hurry! I can't hold it much longer! If she falls from that height, she's gonna die! Please, Centaur! Go help her! Save her! Yes. Forget about us. Her life is more important. I'm, I'm sorry. Forgive me. You have already been forgiven, my friend. Goodbye. Seven Hells. 
I plan to destroy everything within a 10 mile radius to take care of this first wave of them. If I fail, I will die by their teeth. You do realize what you're planning is suicide. You'll never survive it. Neither will you as long as you're here. So I'm teleporting you both to safety. Straight to Canterlot. No, wait, Tarek! I already know what this is, but I'm gonna take it swinging. I won't make the same mistake I did in the past. Plague is no longer my master. He really did take us to Canterlot. tried to crush me under his hoof? Yeah, he saved us. Celestia, I did not know you had a house cat. It's not a house cat. That is the Sphinx, the Queen of Saddle Arabia. You came at quite a bad timing. Can we at least deal with Plague before you decide to kill me? First of all, I had no intention of trying to kill you. Not even when we first fought. I just wanted a fair fighting competition between two queens. But no, you had to shrink me and take away my power to the point where it took me 500 years to get it all back! Wait, so you're the Sphinx of the stories? I'm not just a story. I'm real. It's just thanks to this rainbow-maned doofus over here that I've been shrunken down to your size. Well, my name is Smite Storm. I'm the newest Dragon King. Pleasure, actually. I hear that the Dragon King and his family were very noble. So you're offering to take a uh, Celestia throne for the time being? Smite! Yes, and it's not going to be a permanent thing, Celestia. I'm willing to put my differences with you to the side for the time being. 
Because just as Plague has threatened your world, he also threatens mine. I will take the throne until you return. Deal? You're willing to put your differences with me to the side? Do we have a deal or not? Yes. I would love that. I trust that you would take very good care of the subjects here. Your Highness, you have visitors. Celestia! Wait, that can't be! A more? Yeah, I brought the Keeper with me. Your Highness, I come to offer my assistance. Merlin! Another dragon named Merlin? Huh. So he's the Keeper. It's been over 3,000 years since I saw you. You haven't aged a day. Neither have you, Celestia. So I'm assuming Sombra is dead? If he, yes, he was, he's pretty much dead. That explains why I was released from the Crystal Prison. I was trapped there for 3,000 years and then suddenly it's like time was still when I was there and I never aged. Does this mean you're going to take the throne of the Crystal Empire? Uh, no, whoever's ruling here now can still keep the throne. I think I'll take a vacation for being a queen for once. And who is this? My name is Smite Storm. Uh, yes, he is the new Dragon King. And you must be Princess Amor. It is an honor. The honor's mine to meet the Dragon King. Mm -hmm. And such manners. I only done that because of manners, so don't get the wrong idea. I'm actually married. Oh, lucky Mary. Princess Amor. I don't want to be a burden, but we must not forget why we are here. Y you're right, Merlin. I got a little carried away. It's still good to see you again, old friend. And you are still as beautiful as the day I met you. Stop, I've blushed enough. There will be another that will arrive here soon. Wait, who? His name is Odin. The Dragon of Time, and he will come to speak with you, Smite Storm. Wait, how do you know my name? I know more about you than you think. Hello, Merlin. We meet again. Ah, Sphinx. Been staying out of trouble, have you? This is my first time out of the pyramids since the incident at Katano Temple. She's pregnant! Wait, what? Oh, your mayor is pregnant. Hang on, wait. Does that mean I'm going to be an uncle? Congratulations, Comet. Oh, mine is actually going to be a little one running around. Do you mind if I go meet this uh, mother-to-be? Yeah, sure. She's this way. This is amazing that there's life still flourishing in Equestria even during this dark time. I think I'm gonna go see her. I haven't seen her in quite some time. I remember whenever I used to have little ones running around me when I was still running my temple. Every time the little ones got scared, they came to me. And I will protect them from whatever darkness they are afraid of. I'll be back in a bit. At the moment, I'm gonna go see Moonlight. Wait, that's not fair! 
Now I'll send this boy to you. If you step out of line, I will send you back to the abyss from which I dragged you out of. Do I make myself clear? Y y yes, sir. My lord. Was it a good idea to let Nova escape? She could alert Cantalot of our plans. Let her alert them. It's not that they can stop us. And besides, we have a little pest problem. Ah, he must have seen me. Easy, Kramer. I'll take care of him. Yes, my lord. This is actually exciting. We actually get to see the master fight. It's been years, but I would love to see it. So you're Plague. I'm here to challenge you before you ever reach Tenderlot. Such fine equestrian steel and A shame has got to be the of such mortals. I'll show you that this mortal is stronger than he looks. Welcome to flight. A fragile, tiny bird. A monster spider. Enough talk! We fight now! <laughs> As you wish, take your best shot. You to escape! Not a chance, Let me show you the results of my secret training. Stormbreaker! Well then, if you insist. Juggle! Well, we'll 
looks like I've got no choice. I'm taking us to Camelot. Hang on tight. What the? Eclipse! Jackal! What's going on here? Well, this is a good. Why did you bring me here? It was the only way I could think to save you. I don't want to be saved. Eclipse! Is that Jackal I see? I order you to execute that traitor. And then I will give you the bounty. General Viper! He is not on the bounty list. He's on my bounty list. He is a thief and a traitor. Now Eclipse, as your superior, I demand you give me his head. No. You disobey a direct order? You insubordinate traitor. Fine. Then I'll kill him myself. And when I'm done with him, I will execute you as well. Rest in peace! Uh, uh, what? I will only say this once. I hereby strip you of your title. Viper, you're fired. Uh, you're not the same, Celestia, I remember. You want to let the world know of your imperfections? Fine! I'll let the world be known of your little plot to destroy Athenia then. You swore to secrecy. You're right. Yes, I did. But you also swore to secrecy when you let the Shimmer escape with the files. Not to mention you have one of the Shimmers in the castle now. The Celestia, I remember, did whatever it took to make sure the Equestria was safe. Even if it meant genocide, you are to shut your trap now, or I will have you executed. I marched proudly into the Athenian lands, holding the Equestrian flag, and slaughtered as many as I could see. Mayor, stallion, and foal, and wiped them clean off the map. If I had a choice to go back in time, I'll do it all again. I've heard enough of this! Smite! <laughs> Wait a minute. I know the style of that kunai. My horn! <laughs> You! <laughs> it's about time you showed up. Did you really expect me to not show up at the time like this? General Viper, for your insubordination, disrespect to my laws, and complete betrayal of our code, and breaking your oath of secrecy, I hereby sentence you to death. And your executioner will be Ponita Shimmer. Oh, wait, you can't do this to me! With pleasure. I don't need a weapon to kill you. I'll kill you with my bear hooves. I don't need any of my weapons or my hooves to take you down. I've got something a little bit better than that. In the name of Queen Athena, first of her name, rightful queen of the Athenian Empire, I, point a Shimmer, first of my name, knight of the Athenians, Sends you to die in fire. And I'm going to make sure you revel in it. Now burn in ah!
He deserved what he got. You avenged your kind. There are more out there like him. I've waited long enough to have this revenge. And I will make sure I will avenge the rest of them. You can count on me to be at your side for that.